this. driving a bus. So this is a 1956 TDH 4512, originally operated by Santa Monica in California. It spent most of its career at the campus bus service at Kent State. So this is probably one of the most mass-produced models of uh, old look buses by GM. But this particular bus is one unique thing about it. It was used in the 1967 movie The Graduate starring Dustin Hoffman, Anne Bancroft, and Catherine Ross. So the movie was filmed in the summer of, uh, well, it started probably in 66, but the particular shot that this bus was in was uh, what I've gathered probably filmed in the summer of 1967. And shortly after that, it was uh, sold to Kent State for their brand new bus service that they started that year. So soon after the movie was filmed, a group of students and a mechanic uh, went out to California to pick up this bus as well as uh, several others, four others to be exact, and drive them back to Kent. It took them about two weeks to make the journey. Uh, traveled all times of the day, particularly driving at night to get through the uh, hot weather in the southwest to keep the buses from overheating. And eventually they made it back. So since uh, August of 1967, this uh, bus was at the campus bus service until I bought it in uh, 2003. So I'm the third owner, and let's see, I've now had it, so this is 2020. I've had the bus for 17 years, so I have owned it longer than Santa Monica had it. Second only to the uh, ownership by Kent State. several parts to the story of this bus. I kind of talked a little bit about that, but it's kind of a three-part story. The first part being what bus was used in the movie. The second part is what bus is this? And the third part is are those two buses the same? And uh, I will say that in my early research, uh, well, right before I bought the bus, it wasn't a very clear-cut answer. So I'll talk about uh, I'll talk about what what I've learned and why this is that bus.
So The Graduate came out December 1967, released by Embassy Pictures in the U.S. Uh, It's the story of a college graduate played by Dustin Hoffman who doesn't know what he wants to do with his life and he's under pressure from his parents to do something with his life. Would you mind telling me then what those four years of college were for? What was the point of all that hard work? You got me. Where did he say he was going to meet you? He ends up getting uh, seduced by a woman uh, named Mrs. Robinson, played by Anne Bancroft. And as that uh, plays out, he ends up actually falling for her daughter, Elaine, who's played by Catherine Ross. So the story ends up culminating in Elaine getting married to her uh, fiancé, who isn't Dustin Hoffman or, or Benjamin. And obviously they have feelings for each other, and one thing leads to another, and he ends up crashing her wedding um, as it takes place, and the two of them run off and get on a bus. So the final scene of the movie is Benjamin crashing Elaine's wedding, and the two of them end up leaving in quite a ruckus, and as they leave the church, a city bus pulls up outside. The two of them get on board, pay their fare, and then ride off to an unknown future. So which bus is this? So a couple clues in the uh, movie that you can see on the outside of the bus as they approach it. uh, You can see the unit number 4522. The bus line on the side of the bus shows Santa Barbara Municipal Bus Lines, which is a fictitious bus service. Santa Barbara didn't have any bus service. So it was uh, temporary paint applied to the bus. But the unit number on the outside actually, I believe, is the real unit number because on the inside of the bus, you can see unit 4522 there as well. Uh, my DVD screenshot here isn't, doesn't quite have the, quite the resolution to kind of see it super clearly. But uh, if you look at the Blu-ray, um, you'll see the same number there, 4522 on the inside. And I think the reason that this was done was just for the continuity of them approaching the bus on the outside and the sharp-eyed movie viewer would notice that, oh, the bus number would have changed if they didn't match it. So they kept the same bus number on the outside uh, as the inside. And actually, they even um, as the bus drives off in the final moments of the movie, it has the same unit number on the back of the bus, 4522. So with that, I'm pretty confident that is, in fact, the bus number uh, for this particular bus. So when Kent State bought the bus, along with that came the knowledge that this particular bus, as it was, uh, Unit 4522, was the bus that was used in the movie. And included in that purchase was the final vehicle record. So if you're not familiar with what the final vehicle record is, this is basically the birth certificate for a bus or fleet of buses coming off of the production line at uh, General Motors. So at the top, it gives information about who uh, bought the bus or who's the owner of the bus. So you can see here's at Santa Monica or the city of Santa Monica, their address, the model of this particular bus, which is again, a TDH 4512. The serial number lists the serial number of the buses included in this fleet order. And then right below that, you can see vehicle number. And then these are the unit numbers that they applied to those buses. So they bought um, serial numbers 1671 through 1678. So these eight buses were then given unit numbers of 4519 through 4526, which then uh, includes unit 4522, which is the movie bus. 
So the date that it was shipped to Santa Monica was on July 27th of 1956. I don't know if at that time Santa Monica would have sent drivers to Detroit and then they would make the long drive back to California or General Motors drive them or were they put on trains or trucks and then just kind of driven. I don't know how the delivery was at that time. But anyway, so this fleet would have been delivered in, in July of uh, 56. So in the middle of the document, they have some part numbers for major components of the buses from brakes to the engine, uh, some axle information, some body information, some seats. So underneath that, they have optional equipment, which actually includes the paint numbers for both the interior and exterior. So the interior was a pink and included some off-white and coral fleck gray. Not sure where those would be inside the bus. So the interior of the bus kind of has like kind of a tannish pink color. I'm guessing that's what that pink is. And then on the exterior is the Santa Monica blue, which is a light blue top with a medium blue bottom. And then continued on the back of the document is the optional equipment. And this is where some key information can be found. So at the very top, they break down the buses bought by Santa Monica in this particular fleet order. So those eight buses. And on the left side under chassis, you can see the serial number of each bus. So starting with 1671 through 1678. And then all the way on the right side is the operator number. So again, this is now the unit number that would be applied to the bus. And unit 4522 is uh, also serial number 1674. So those two buses, or those two numbers, sorry, are the same. So with that, we now know that the serial number of the bus in the movie is TDH 4512-1674. So through a conversation that I had with somebody at Santa Monica, not long after I bought the bus, so this would have probably been about 2003, 2004, I was able to talk with someone that actually was working at Santa Monica during the time of the filming. And he was able to confirm that, again, Unit 4522 was, in fact, the bus used in the movie. And he was able to expand upon uh, the the paint job being different, you know, that Santa Barbara wasn't an actual bus service. And they actually had painted a temporary paint on the outside of the bus. So underneath that is still the Santa Monica blue. They just painted this uh, temporary orange on the outside to uh, facilitate the needs of the movie, but the interior wasn't touched. And I don't leave out the other star of the bus scene, which is the driver. Uh, his name is Marshall Kaufman. And uh, he was, I don't know, fortunate enough to be in the movie. I actually, in my conversation with the gentleman at uh, Big Blue Bus in Santa Monica those years ago, I don't think even he was aware of how he got selected. He may have just been around and had the opportunity to drive this bus for an afternoon. That I'm not aware. But anyway, so we don't forget him. Marshall Kaufman is the driver of the bus uh, in the movie. So with this information, I'm able to say that the bus that's in the movie is TDH 4512, serial number 1674, as operated by Santa Monica as unit 4522. So in part two, I'm going to talk about the bus that I know as unit 2345 and its history picking up with its arrival at Kent State in 1967 uh, up until my ownership in 2003. 